hello there how are you i hope all is well and everything is absolutely amazing on your end welcome back on my channel you're listening to light channelings once again and i am back with a new card reading for all of you before starting with today's card reading let me express my gratitude for your help support love appreciation donations and contribution may god bless you with whatever it is that you may need by your highest good and may all your wishes come true for your highest good obviously in divine right timing thank you so much once again for everything so we have another beautiful reading for all of you and let's just get, get started with it so what has happened here uh, it it looks like this is the energy from recent past or for some this is happening right now okay so it looks like either you or your counterpart or both of you have decided to walk away from this um, stuck energy where you were doing nothing but just waiting for your counterpart to come back reach out and mend things with you that was keeping you in a very unhealthy state it turned out to be a very toxic situation for you and it was just stagnating your progress and movement so it looks like one way or the other universe is pushing you or you're just listening to your own intuition and you're walking away from the fascination of reunion and the need to reunite with your counterpart you just want you just don't want to engage with that thought anymore it does it just doesn't excite excites you anymore that's what i mean you want to give up somewhere it looks like you just want to give up let go and detach from the process or your counterpart altogether and the reason is no movement reason is your counterpart's own stagnation their own inability to make a move or unwillingness to make a move towards you that's why it looks like you just want to give up or let go of the situation and just focus on your own self fulfill your own wishes change things in your lives or just move on from this connection altogether is what i'm saying for some of you which is not bad at all do not feel guilty for choosing yourself and leaving an unhealthy situation because it certainly is a unhealthy situation for anyone where you're feeling stuck hoping and wishing for someone to come back but instead all you're getting is no communication no contact nothing at all and you're just standing there waiting for something to happen no one should ever put themselves in such a situation so if you decided to walk away and detach from the process you're not waiting for anything not even for communication contact or any kind of movement coming from your counterpart you're focusing on your you, you are focusing on your own self your healing your progress your growth and you are not focused on reuniting with your own selves your own self that which you lost the connection with long ago now you want to re- redevelop that and it's all part of the self love thing we talk about again and again which is a wonderful thing here you're doing this and on the other hand what's happening is that universe is turning the wheel in your favor okay your counterpart can literally sense that you are not paying any attention to them like you used to and now they can even energetically spiritually feel that you're withdrawing your energy day by day because you're not seeing any progress instead they've been giving you their attitude in hand or they were acting out of their ego pride or arrogance you felt that you felt extremely insulted or humiliated by those actions and behavior and you decided to give up 
or just walk away and let go of any kind of expen- ex- expectations i'm sorry not explanations expectations or attachment with the fact that you want to reunite with them or you wish to reunite with them or you just want to have a relationship with them you're letting that go you you're detaching which is a very wonderful thing they can feel that and so what's happening here is that that is bringing them and all other people involved in your situation in an energy state where they're now reconsidering everything okay now they are giving second thoughts to the decisions and choices they've made now your counterpart is planning to take action and are fighting to take action towards you and I, i'll repeat again do not wait for anything stay in that energy where you're focusing only on yourself and nothing else you shouldn't even look at your counterpart stop 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 stalking them and if you did that already they felt that they are stalking you now they felt that heavily they felt the rug being pulled from under their feet they felt that okay i'm telling you they felt that and now their intuition is speaking to them it's because they got filled with fear so much they were left with nothing but an option to listen to their own intuition because their fear started to kill them from inside they got panicked confused and and indecisive about everything the moment you decided to pull away your energy from them which is a very wonderful thing okay so your counterpart felt your energy and they decided to make a move or are deciding to make a move and now they are all discussing about making a deci- decision to bring you into their family and they look at you now as a perfect match for your counterpart your counterpart is looking at you as a perfect match for themselves okay and their father or their elder brother who was actually standing against this connection in the past is now reconsidering changing those rules regulations or the rigidity they've been following for so long because you are now rising in your power you are being true to your own self you're following your true soul purpose or life purpose in your life they are curious about you they want to know more about you and because you are so mysterious and not so easy to understand for these people that makes them think a lot about you day in and day out and something you've done recently or something they found out about you has made them make a decision and a choice to bring you in into their lives and in their family as the significant other of your counterpart and put a stamp on those marriage papers on which yours and your counterpart's name is going to get written that's what they are discussing that's what they are planning and that's what they want to do on the other hand i see now you're choosing your own selves you're coming back in your power you are in your power you realize your own worth and value you're flying high you're feeling successful you're working on your material abundance people are talking about you and your glory and success that is something which is helping these people make a move and change their ways or thought patterns especially your counterpart and someone who holds authority or power in their life this could be uh, one of their friend as well again who was in the past against this connection and it looks like they still are somewhere wanting to block your counterpart from moving towards you but what's happening with this person is that 
now they are experiencing an ending in their life and you are moving up ahead on the ladder of success prosperity growth development and advancements is what i am saying it's because your counterpart has made a decision to fight for you and take action towards you they are stalking you they want to find out what what you're doing and why they cannot feel your energy anymore or if they've lost the chance with you somewhere the people in their family or especially someone who rules over the family or is the one who makes all the decisions a elderly person or a mentor or a father figure that person wants to change things in the family because they think you will bring a lot of prosperity a lot of growth a lot of advancements a lot of transformation into their family if you're allowed or approved or accepted okay in other words accepted not allowed or approved that still somewhere feels like you're an object and you need to receive approval from people you do you do not need any kind of approval or validation it's just that you need to get accepted for who you are what you are and why you are actually there in your counterpart's life this is something these people are able to understand now not everyone i'm telling you that not everyone right now i'm talking about the people who hold masculine energy in your counterpart's life the people who hold dominant feminine energy the distorted feminine energy they are still against this connection let me tell you that straight away they are still against this connection and i'm seeing number 269 and number 55 right when i said that actually right when i'm saying that not right when i said that this number means a karmic cycle is about to end and change is just there on the horizon for you and you'll understand why i why i'm saying that as we move further with this reading okay it looks like there is no movement happening in this connection right now everything is stagnant halted and nothing is moving it looks like that that's why you have decided to move away from this situation or connection and one of the reason for this for this move is that because you know your counterpart was dealing with someone else they were juggling with someone else they were juggling you with someone else actually or they were just listening to wrong people and were not making any move they were acting out of their pride ego and arrogance which became a burden for you to carry on on your shoulders and you decided to drop that burden away and move out free yourself and move out walk away so the moment you made that decision was the exact moment when universe brought an ending in your counterpart's life or in those people's life who were making your counterpart stay stuck and not make not move towards you or make any move towards you if there was a friend of theirs who just didn't wanted your counterpart to reach out to you or reunite with you or give you any commitment they were feeling very happy because they were able to keep your counterpart held back in their control but now what's happening is that if this person was in love with someone else or if this person was interested in a relationship with someone else i'm um, no that's not the way to say um, talk about that if this person was committed or in love with someone else or they were interested in starting a relationship with someone else they found out that they found something out about that individual and that brought a very painful heartbreak ending separation or breakup on their end it's like universe is making them pay a price for what they did to you and the pain they've brought into your life by keeping your counterpart held back and enjoying every second of it seeing you in pain suffering in silence and struggling with that heartbreak they brought into your life okay the same thing is happening with this person same exact suffer, 
suffering heartbreak heartache pain and separation because they found out that the person they were interested in or wanted to have a relationship with is just someone like them and they didn't like to see that mirror if they were arrogant she was or he was twice as arrogant of them if they were cunning or clever the other person was twice as clever and cunning than them okay and now they are realizing and understanding how it feels when you do that to someone else how it feels and it looks like your counterpart is also realizing that because if your counterpart was struggling no i'm sorry uh, juggling you with someone else they are seeing the true colors of that person the pain they brought to you is the same exact pain universe is bringing into their life and that is going to help them receive that clarity okay what they did to you was not right they made a bad decision and now they are going to pay the price for that is what they are realizing or understanding so there are two situations take it out take it how it resonates and today i'm feeling i'm struggling to talk actually because this reading is just like that there are so many things happening all at once so on one hand i see people realizing your worth and value who once were hating on you for no reason and on the other hand i see people getting their karma who mistreated you misjudged you you know lied on your name or were just enjoying bringing pain in, into your life or to you this may include your own counterpart or their friends holding dominant masculine energy again distorted one if your counterpart was acting out of a distorted masculine energy that's what's happening with them or if they had friends with distorted dominant masculine energy that's what's happening with them i hope now that makes clear sense to you okay so despite people blocking this connection and building walls in between you and your counterpart i see that this connection is written in stars for you still even if you do not want this connection it's still going to remain same you may decide not to get involved with your counterpart that's your free will choice and you may decide to just focus on yourself build, build your own empire start your own business become successful prosperous wealthy rich live a life of luxuries that's a wonderful choice to make and i'll tell you what's going to happen when you do that it's going to bring in remarkable success into your life remarkable out of the world kind of success okay people are going to know you you will become popular people are going to come from you know out station or overseas to work with you they will offer you projects and ventures and opportunities and it's going to come from places you haven't even heard of yet your success your victory your triumph your glory is going to make people burn with jealousy and envy and remember if you are flying high above in the sky there are going to be people who are going to try to drag you down and bring you down so have an open mind about that and always keep that in mind that you'll always have haters and enemies especially if you are high above flying high successful independent and prosperous because there are people who do not like that they are never going to accept that you deserve that okay they'll have their own agendas 
to bring you down or cause harm and hurt to you always remember that but that doesn't mean you should stop working on yourself i see that you're going to make moves you're going to relocate you're going to find new job you're going to change your residence you may even buy a new house and move to a new location or new place altogether is what i'm saying you will make friends you may go on trips you may if that was your wish you may go on a world tour with your friends or you know mates family or just on business trips let's let's talk about that on business trips so if you are going to focus on that as well that is not going to change anything in this connection and i am saying it positively i am just saying that this connection will remain as it is you two are going to remain connect connected with each other because it is a eternal connection it doesn't matter what decisions you make in your um 3d physical reality nothing is going to change with this connection in terms of its essence you may decide to choose your own self but this connection is written in your, in your destiny is what i'm saying and one way or the other if it's in highest good for you and your counterpart or it's just that at a certain point of time you're able to let go of your differences and make amends there is a possibility that again i'll repeat if you choose you may end up with your counterpart only in a committed solid relationship or marriage if that's what you like but if if you do not see that happening right now and if your counterpart has crossed all the boundaries and limits in hurting you and you're choosing yourself the success i'm telling you your success is going to make noise and on the other hand for mistreating you for cheating on you for lying you for betraying you whatever success your counterpart got recently or are going to get is going to get taken away from them and then they'll be left with confusion and indecision as to what they should be doing next and this this situation has risen because their mother is just so cheap with her ways that i can't even explain that mothers can be like this or a sister elder sister who's just hateful just hateful jealous and envious cannot see another woman being happy in a relationship with someone she holds a blood relationship with that's the problem with these people so whatever this person had been planning or wishing in the end what's going to happen is that they'll face nothing but defeat they'll be crying on the decisions and choices they've made they'll be sulking in sorrow and whining about the decisions and choices they've made whatever it is that they're hoping it's going to happen in this connection in between you and your counterpart or they thought that by manipulating your counterpart into doing something that's going to be destructive they are going to bring pain into your life and misery and you're going to suffer for the rest of your life that's not going to happen no 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 never ever that's never going to happen i told you your success is going to make noise and it's going to be ringing in their ears 24/7 365 days a year okay they will be paying the price for that they will gain nothing out of it nothing nothing at all nothing at all i am telling you nothing at all they'll be left with i mean there are so many things nothing is going to move in their life they'll become stuck stagnant they'll struggle with everything in their life not just relationships but with everything maybe health maybe relationships like uh, in terms of happiness or peace in their relationships what they did to you is going to happen with them if they destroyed your relationship with your counterpart guess what's going to happen with them a time will come in their life where when they'll they'll sit down and they'll regret can't say uh, how soon 
but it's going to be sooner than later is what i'm saying for keeping your counterpart stuck or you know keeping them hostage they will pay the price for that very soon actually very very soon it's it's like that uh, they are hoping for your failure or um, downfall but what they'll get in the same exact timing is that their own downfall they'll start to th- they'll start to see their own downfall the timing they've set for their wishes wishes to come true where they're wishing that okay now we've done all of this and now we'll see in one month or two month or three months that uh, she's struggling or she's left with nothing she's crying she's sulking she's yearning for her counterpart and we are going to set him up with someone else and that's going to be so wonderful to experience they'll see exactly opposite of that oppos- opposite of that in the same exact timing they've set for themselves and for you but the results are going to be completely opposite is what universe is showing here in in this reading so it's very in depth okay very in depth very comprehensive very in depth and it looks like right now you're not even interested in having communication with your counterpart because you've just lost the the the, the desire the yearning the attachment actually you love this person yes but you've just lost it you've just lost the spark is what i'm seeing here they are scared and defensive but still they want to bring balance but right now they are not in that state they are confused as to what should be done next they think that it's all lost and destroyed but they're still somewhere you know looking for hope is what i'm seeing and uh, yes some of them are still attached with their mother or their sisters and that's not healthy that connection is not at all healthy but soon it's going to face a downfall soon very very soon and your wishes are going to come true is what i'm seeing everyone is going to served the way they deserve to get served with justice and judgment okay it's a very it's a very basic it's a very basic i don't want to do this reading today because i am not able to speak properly it's universe is serving people with what they deserve and on the basis of their karma and deeds here is what i am seeing okay is what i am seeing i'm not totally into this reading because um it looks like it's a perfect balance of darkness and light in this reading is what i'm seeing on the one hand i see you win but on the other hand i see people doing shit and then paying the price so yes you have suffered and you're going to win they are making you suffer so now they are going to suffer do you see that's why i said i see this reading is just an perfect example of the balance of white and black duality yes so just you know 
you're just going as you should be you're doing what you're supposed to be doing at this point of time and you're exactly where you're supposed to be this is not a very um, wonderful situation because um, yes somewhere it still feel feels like you've experienced a lot of injustices in this uh, connection which is true but still universe is saying whatever it is that you've lost will give you 10 times better situations and outcomes and things beyond your ex- expectations or imagination so the truth is going to come out it's simple as that somewhere i feel like uh, your counterpart is your counterpart wants to bring balance into the situation but they are still defensive and they do not want to get confronted by you and they do not want to um face you where you'll ask them questions or uh, you're going to confront them on giving someone else priority and keeping you yearning and begging for their attention love care or consideration something like that that has hurt you more than anything is what i'm saying so somewhere they are still defensive about reaching out to you because they know you are going to ask these kind of questions and now you are in your power you are not going to think about what they like to hear or not you're just going to speak your heart out and let your heart out and you just you're just going to express yourself is what they are thinking and feeling and somewhere that's going to hit their ego and that's why there is this stagnation and that's why you should not stand there and keep yourself stuck so if you are walking away wonderful if you're not then this is a sign for you to walk away and let go of the situation completely detach from this mess and let universe play its game okay because you will have what you desire and deserve in the end and if that means settling down with someone else that's also going to happen if if that's your wish and that's for your highest good i see that happening okay and you will, you won't even understand how it's all going to turn out in your favor you will be confused and puzzled and bewildered at the same time because it's going to happen very very soon it's happening very fast as i told you the time frame these people have given to see your downfall is the same exact timing they will start seeing their own downfall and it's going to happen very soon very soon actually so um it's it's better to wrap this reading up i saw 26 26 right when i said that there are few angel answers i pull some cards uh from this angel answers deck by radley valentine so the universe is saying through view of these cards is that if you can believe and if you can just you know trust the process listen to your intuition you will have a positive outcome from the situation but i already told you that if you are going to focus on yourself you'll you'll just have positive outcome you'll you'll have positive outcome so a lot of happy changes are about to come into your life especially if you are starting something new in your life and there is no um crying or sulking for this connection and you're detaching from the process completely and you're focusing on your own selves a lot of big happy changes are about to come into your life okay but you need to believe on on yourself and in your skills and abilities so that you can make your dreams come true the situation will improve ultimately and eventually but it may take some time um it may take a year less than that or more than that can't say but it may take a year ask your angels about whatever whatever it is that 
is disturbing you or bothering you or irritating you they are going to help you with that if you can wait then wait if you do not want to wait or if your heart says yet that you shouldn't be waiting for anything i mean especially uh, not reunion you shouldn't be waiting for reunion instead you should be focusing on something else definitely don't wait for reunion but focus on someone else but overall universe is saying that uh, just wait before you make a life changing decision that's all but it depends on you it completely depends on you i'm just relaying the messages ask your angels for whatever it is that uh, troubles you if they are going to tell you to wait for this connection or this person then do what you what you would want to do okay so just listen to your intuition and they are just saying that there is nothing to worry about in this situation there is nothing to worry about in this situation okay nothing at all yes you may feel like there are so many things to worry about because your counterpart is acting like a little baby or acts like a little baby a toddler at times where they just go and run back to their mother or sister or comfort or just someone else at times if that's the situation they are not practicing confidence or courage if that's the problem um what else to say let let it go is what i'm going to say let it go focus on something else that's all because uh, it's not going to work out on their end that's all so that was the reading i hope you enjoyed listening to me and i hope um actually i don't want to post this reading i'm not even feeling like but i will because there are people who need to listen to this so i will and uh, just ignore today's you know you know fluctuations i had in speaking and stating things it happens sometimes okay so this was the reading just listen to your intuition and do what it says wrapping up give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more such content and yeah that's all feel free to follow the link given in the description box below if you'd like to contribute or donate anything bye bye